Um, I am just leaving for work right now, going down our stairwell, um, heading outside. It's a chilly one today. It's about 23 degrees, I think, outside. Finally feels like December. I'm letting my car uh, warm up for a second. Um, it is pretty chilly out, but it's not too bad because the sun is shining, as you can see, <laughs> quite brightly, um, which makes it, you know, kind of a, a much nicer day than if it was cloudy and, and windy. It's a little windy right now, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, I am wearing one of my big worsted weight shawls around my neck. Um, this is the Dockside Shawl by Alicia Plummer and it's really nice and warm for a day like today. Um, today is December 6th, I forgot to say that. Um, it is St. Nicholas Day. We, since I was, since I was born, we've celebrated St. Nicholas Day and of course now that I'm older, he doesn't leave anything in my boot anymore. Um, but I can't wait until uh, when I have children and I can celebrate with them. I will still call my Oma today and say Happy St. Nicholas Day to her. I'm sure she will ask me if St. Nicholas left anything in my boot, but he did not, unfortunately. He skipped my apartment this year. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited to see uh, my nephew is a little bit older this year, so he is a little bit more aware of everything that's going on and my sister and my sister's husband Nate um, celebrate with him so it'll be really fun to see what they do and um, yeah it's just kind of a it's kind of a special day um, yeah we always celebrated this day um, you know quite a lot so it's like a, a holiday before the big holiday <laughs> So now I'm going to head to work. I'm in the dye studio today um, for the first few hours, so I unfortunately can't take you in there with me. Um, we kind of have a... <laughs> our methods are pretty secret, um, how we dye our yarn at Knit Circus, and so no one is allowed to take pictures or really talk about um, how we do our our dying so yep I can't take my camera in there with me today but um, I'll be in the store for the second half of the day trying to get some more um, admin stuff done so I will um, probably see you then and if I don't get a chance to record anything at work today I'll see you when I get home and suddenly it's time to go home um, <laughs> it's about quarter after five o'clock in the evening and it is dark, of course. Um, I'm letting my car warm up again and about to drive home. Um, my drive isn't too long, it's about 20, a little over 20 minutes. In heavy traffic, like tonight, I go, I don't have to go like on the Beltline Highway. If you live in the Madison area, you it's pretty infamous for being awful. <laughs> But, so I don't have to go on the Beltline, but um, I do have to go through a pretty heavily trafficked area, um, and it takes, you know, it takes a few extra minutes when it's, you know, really busy, but I think that tonight I'm really hoping we can finally get our Christmas tree up because it's the 6th of December and I feel like I should have had it up a week ago. The only kind of cool thing is that traditionally my Olma would always put her Christmas tree up on the 6th, which is St. Nicholas Day, and then it would, she'd have it up until the 6th of January, which is Holy Three Kings. Um, so I guess I'm going to kind of do that this year. Um, we'll see if I take it down January 6th, though. I might leave it up a little longer. Last year I definitely did, so. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get to do that. I'm very excited, and yeah. Hello again. Um, it's after dinner. Um, it's about quarter to nine. We kind of had like a late night tonight. Um, 
Seaver cooked, which was really good. Well, he most, I helped him a little, or I like helped out a little bit. Not that he needs help, but um, <laughs> we had um, venison chops, I believe, wrapped in bacon. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, he found this recipe for this like kind of marinade that you um, bake them in. So we had dinner, it was really, really good. And we put the Christmas tree up. I'll show that to you in a second. Though the lights and stuff aren't on it yet. Um, and I was thinking about doing it tonight. I'm kind of tired. Um, I don't know. It was kind of a long day. And we just ate. And really all I want to do is sit down and knit. Um, I kind of cleaned the house, the apartment, and um, did all that sort of stuff after work. And so now I'm just, I'm ready to just relax. So I think the lights and everything will have to wait until a different night. So there's our little tree. Um, it is a fake tree. We were thinking about getting a, a real one this year, but I don't know if we're allowed to um, here in our apartment. Some apartment buildings considered a fire hazard, so um, yeah, we always have to ask. Our last, or two apartments ago, uh, when Seaver and I didn't live together yet, they did not allow uh, real Christmas trees. So I have this one. This was given to me by my stepmom um, a long time ago and I still use it. And uh, yeah, so it's just the perfect size for an apartment. And tomorrow I will get all the lights and everything on it. I blocked a couple of projects yesterday. I won't show those to you because they are both Christmas presents. Um, <laughs> excuse me, but I wanted to show you my high-tech um, setup. This is on the floor of our living room in the corner here. And I, yeah, I just put six of these puzzle pieces down. I have 18 of them total, I believe. Yes, 18. So I could block a really large shawl. Both of these were smaller cowls, so I didn't need a whole lot of space, but I love that I can, um, just sort of customize how much room and how much space I need to block and only put out as many as I really need. So I'm not taking up the entire room, just a little corner of the living room and then I can easily put them away. Then they all fit back in my tote that they came in. As you can see, I have, I have a package of them that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I haven't had a project big enough to block while living here, well, yeah, since I've gotten this, which is when we moved um, in August, at the end of August, I should say, beginning of September. Um, so I haven't even opened the second half of them. I only have nine of them opened. And this is from Coco Knits. You can see the, the logo there. And it is very handy. I feel like it would be handy no matter what but especially for apartment living, um, it is just utterly fantastic. Or if you don't have a designated blocking spot, you know, a lot of people don't have a specific room, you know, where all of their knitting and everything goes. So, you know, if you are in a smaller house or just a house where you don't have a designated space, this is amazing. <laughs> upload all of this footage tomorrow and just do a combined um, December 6th and 7th vlogmas episode. Again, I was feeling a little unmotivated and tired and just, you know, wanting to have a relaxing night. Um, and then I just suddenly got this, like, urge to just 
upload it and edit it and just do it all and just put it out there. So I think I'm going to, um, so before it gets too late, I'm going to sign off and I hope you had a very happy December 6th. Happy St. Nicholas Day. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye. Deck the halls with boughs of holly.